Now this is a EMF electric magnetic field tester that uh, tests uh, field strengths, uh, radiation, uh, elec electricity, uh, and that a lot of paranormal investigators and ghost hunters use in their videos. And I'm going to tell you here, right here, right now, you know, whatever, however they get their clicks and views by click baiting or, you know, thumbnails or whatever, you know, that's, that's, that's their niche. And if that's how they do it, that's how they do it. This is, this thing gives off so many false readings that there's articles about this, you know, that, that, you know, that uh, a radio transmission, a cell phone within two feet of you can give off a false reading. If there's power to a building and there's power, you know, uh, to a building and, and say that, you know, the, 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 you know, the lights are off, you know, by light switches and stuff like that, but not by the power box, it still will read, you know, and you don't, you don't do this trying to get a reading. You gotta go, you gotta go back and forth like this to get a reading. That's how you get readings with these things. And we're going to go over all this, you know, this is, you know, this one low, uh, uh, this is, this is like, uh, medium. Uh, when it gets to the red, that's warning, you know, and there's a, there's a, there's a chart in the box that just comes with, you know, this is for low budget. Uh, this is budget friendly type, uh, readers for ghost hunters and stuff like that. Like the green one means, you know, uh, Normal, uh, low, the second would be, be low, yellow would be caution, uh, orange would be high, red would be warning, you know. And a lot of ghost hunters and paranormal investigators use uh, these type type of meters and stuff like that. And it just, they, they don't work. And I'll, and, and I'll demonstrate it, I'll show you. I got two radios right here. These are two radios. I'm going to turn them on, and I got a cell phone right here, cell phone. I'm going to turn them on, and you're going to see this, this, this reader, you know, and a lot of these uh, ghost hunters, they use two-way radios, but if you key it, you see how, if you key, I'm keying this, I'm keying this, you see how it gives a false reading? So if you got this, if, the, if you got this on you, it's going to give a false reading. If somebody uh, tries to talk to you, same with the bow thing, you know. Panel mode. You know, as soon as you, as soon as, as soon as you key down on this, it gives a false reading. You know, let me turn this one because it's synced to the same channel. And this is the family radio service, FRS type of frequency, and this is got those same frequencies programmed into this bow thing. But you see the, you see how it goes off? And then if you turn on your, your cell phone, you know, and you, and you start, you know, playing music or whatever you want to play, you know, uh, you see how it's giving a reading? And that's just turning it on, you know? So this thing gives false readings. You know, a lot of the ghost hunters that use these and stuff like that, paranormal investigators that use this type type of brand, uh, know that. You know, but uh, and there's articles about this, and I'll post those links to those articles uh, in regards to this meter. You know, uh, uh, and ghost hunters in my, and I'm not here just to knock ghost hunters in general and paranormal investigators. I just like the storylines. You know, the, the surprises, the, it's, it's the suspense that keeps me going. And that's why I like watching those uh, videos. But, you know, and that's just that. That's just that one, you know. And coming up, we're going to do, this is, this is another detector here. You know, this is the detector you need. This is the one that gives you the frequency readings and everything like that. They tell you things, if it's true or not. You know, we're going to do a video on that one. It's the same type, type of detector, but a better better one. And then we're going to do uh, 
And this is the detector all the ghost hunters need to be using are these ones right here. It gives you the temperature reading of the room and it, it sniffs for radiation and all that stuff. And we're going to do a review on this one too here. This is the best, probably one of the better ones. You know, they're a little bit more expensive. This is the budget friendly one, you know. And, uh, and then, of course, we have uh, this one here also. You know, this is a different uh, detector. You know, uh, so we're going to go over that detector also, you know, and then you have, you know, the hand detector that you can buy at Harbor Freight for like five bucks. You know, you turn it on, it detects, you know, RF signals and stuff like that. And it has a flashlight, you know, so, you know, this, this, this one, you know, this is a good one here, you know, so, you know, you know, it has a flashlight on it. You know, this, this is a little keychain one. We'll go over that too, but you know, uh, and then we'll go over the, this is a spy type battery pack. This one I use all the time. If someone does work, has a SIM card in it and it's charged up as we speak, but this is a, you know, HD 1080p, uh, battery charger, hidden camera, uh, that, that I also carry and use. We're going to go over that in the next few videos. So like I said, Hit that thumbs up, hit that like, and if you're a paranormal investigator or ghost hunter, I'm not knocking for what you do. I actually do love your videos. I like the suspense, I like the storylines. You do great research on the history of, of what you're doing and keep up the good work. But you know, get rid of this, you know, and get you something more like this. Thank you. This is Community Watch Dog Media. Thanks for watching.